everybody, welcome back to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and here on my YouTube channel, and this is part four of my new mini series, Studio One version six, my favorite features and updates. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. So if you did not see parts one, two, and three, check the playlist in the description box below because you'll be able to check out those videos and you'll see all the different features that came with Studio One version six that I really like and I use on a daily basis. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to talk about some new plugins in this video. You're going to dig this. But before we get started, if you are brand new to Studio One, whether you're just coming into the Studio One ecosystem for the first time and you have version six, or if you're upgrading from an older version to version six, I just released three brand new training courses, all done in version six of Studio One that'll help you get up and running in Studio One very, very quickly with no fuss and no muss. We have the Presona Studio One Beginner's Guide, Mixing in Studio One Made Easy, recording in Studio One Made Easy. These are built for absolute beginners and for people maybe less than a year's experience, or if you've been away from recording for a long period of time and you're just getting back into it and you wanna know how to navigate around through Studio One, how to use the most common features and functions, the ones you're gonna use every single day, and you can stop spending hours and hours and hours on YouTube looking for the answers. I have them all in one little course that you can check out. So check out the link in the description box below, homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Check out those three courses today. I guarantee you, you'll thank me later. So we're here in Studio One. Let's talk about a couple of the new plugin features that we have. So the first one I want to show you is we have our Pro EQ. If I can double click and open it, there we go. Pro EQ looks the same as all the other versions of the Pro EQ. And it does with the exception of uh, two features that are super handy, super handy. One is the solo bands button. So now we can solo any one of the bands and we can listen to You can't hear anything, but we can solo up the, the mid-frequency bands or any bands. That's really, that's really, really helpful. One of the things that kept me from using this EQ in the past and using something like the FabFilter Pro Q3 or Slate Infinity was the ability to solo bands and hear stuff specifically. I'm so glad that they added this to the Pro EQ. The next thing that they added, which is really cool, is now it's um, a dynamic EQ. So if you click the little D next to this little uh, solo frequency here, there we go. And now you can adjust the threshold and stuff and it is now becomes a dynamic EQ, which is really, really cool, which is like a compressor for a very select range of frequencies. You can adjust the threshold, you can adjust the range and how much you wanna turn it down. This can be very helpful. Now, I don't use dynamic EQs very, very much, but they are very, very helpful and something you may wanna experiment with. So that's the upgrades to the Pro EQ. Very cool, nice little touch. Now I don't have to use my FabFilter Pro Q3 as much. Thank you so much, PreSonus. The next plugin I wanna show you, which is another one that I can't believe took all this time to add to, a, to Studio One, is we now have a, a dedicated de-esser plugin. That's another great thing. Um, the not have a de or plugin as a stock plugin was always a mystery to me, but we finally have one and this is great. So now we have a de or plugin, really simple to use, not really hard. You can listen and solo up to the frequencies. So you can pick your frequency, say it's like a male vocal. It's going to be somewhere between five and seven K. Typically we can listen to our S's. We can reduce the S's here. We could change the, uh, the slope from narrow to wide full range or gentle reduction. And we'll have a gain reduction meter or an S reduction meter here. Really simple, easy to use. Thank goodness we have a de-esser plugin. Third thing I wanna show you, um, which is really, really nice, is with the um, stock plugins, the PreSonus plugins, in the, uh, in the uh, console here, let's say the Pro EQ, you could always just single click and you get this micro view of what's going on here with the Pro EQ or the Pro de -esser, and you can adjust parameters this way, which is kind of nice. But you couldn't do that with third-party plugins, only Studio One plugins or stock plugins. Not anymore in version six. Check out this green channel here. I have my FabFilter Pro compressor here, right? If I just single click on this, now I can adjust the parameters for that compressor without having to open the window. Pretty nifty. Here's something as a bonus tip for that. If you come up here, we have the little drop down triangle, right? Where's this fab filter? Come down here and go to set up micro 
edit parameters. And now you can choose, here's all the parameters for the for that FabFilter um, compressor that are available to us on the right-hand side. And we can decide what micro controls we wanna have. So let's say we don't care about the style, we can remove that. We don't care about the knee, we can remove that. But let's say we wanna have the wet gain uh, you know, parameter. We can just highlight it, hit add, and now it's down here. Right, really cool. Oops, okay, hit okay. Now it's down here and we can adjust that. Really, really nice, right? We can also right click on that and you can actually come in here and you can type it, right? Minus 10 dB. Okay, you can do that as well. So that's pretty cool as well. So if you don't wanna grab the little individual slider and move it, which is kind of a pain, kind of reminds me of the old way we used to do send levels. Go check part three of this series. You'll see they totally changed that. I wish they would change that with this. But again, you can always right click on it and you can do that yourself or you can double click on the plugin and you can open it up. But that's really cool that we have micro adjustments now for third party plugins. So that's kind of the three things that I really like about the plugins uh, here. We got the Pro-Q, the Pro-EQ with some of those uh, uh, those new features. We have a de thank, thank PreSonus for that. And now we can use micro adjustments, micro adjustments for third party plugins. And once again, if you wanna change the parameters, come over to the little triangle and there you go. And you could even do that, I believe, with the stock, with the stock plugin, right? Let's go to the Pro Q. Can you do that? No, see, interestingly, en oh, edit? No, the edit will just open it. Interestingly enough, the parameters for a stock plugin are already chosen for you, I believe. I don't see a way to adjust that the way you can with the third party parameters. That's interesting. Maybe that'll be coming in another update. Maybe when we get to Studio One version seven. So there's also a couple of other new plugins here called the Vocoder, which again, I never use this for anything, but I believe this is brand new to Studio One version six. You can have at it there. I've also seen a couple of things inside of the browser, things that I don't remember being in Studio One five, but maybe it was. I don't remember this phase meter being here, but maybe it was here, but they always are adding stuff to this. Um, and making it more user friendly to use and some more features. So again, I, I highly check out or highly recommend that you check out um, all of the stock plugins. I gotta say out of all the DAWs that I've used, they have the most fully featured, I believe, set of stock plugins that come free with Studio One. Um, right out of the box. They really have everything that you, you need here and they're all good, great plugins. They all sound great and you can get great recordings and great mixes with stock plugins. Absolutely for sure. If you don't believe me, go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Right on the homepage, I have a free 90 minute mixing, a mini mixing course, all done in Studio One version five. And we only use the stock plugins and go go along and check out that little mixing course. You get to download the multi-tracks. You can mix the song along with me and you'll hear how you can get a really wonderful sounding mix just using the stock plugins that come with Studio One. So that's it for part four. Quick little thing on the updated plugins and some of the features. Once again, go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and be sure to check out the three new courses I just released for Studio One version six. If you're someone new to Studio One version six or new to Studio One in general, I'm telling you, this is going to save you an enormous amount of time and frustration. And you will write me an email and thank me later because thousands of people have. I started these courses way back in Studio One version three, and I've updated them every time we put out a new version and people are loving them. It's helping people use Studio One very, very quickly, get up and running and be effective with it. And I want to help you do that. So make sure you click the links in the description box below. And until the next Studio One version six video. I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Thank you so very much for watching me today. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.